Hey everyone, Miguel from Arrow.com here. And today we're gonna to show you how to get started with this guy, the Connexon Audio Smart 2 mic. If you ever want to quickly and easily build smart home device prototypes that offer an ideal voice user experience, this development kit is for you. The Audio Smart 2 mic development kit for Amazon AVS features Connexon CX20921 voice input processor with embedded hands-free voice processing technology and preloaded Alexa wake word. What this all means is you could develop cool new projects that could be commanded just by using your voice. We'll go into more detail about the development board in a future video, but for now, let's get started. Besides buying the 2 mic development kit, you'll need to get a few extra things to get everything running. What you'll need is a Raspberry Pi 3, a minimum 8GB SD card with noobs pre-installed or downloaded, a micro USB power cable, a USB keyboard and a mouse, an external HDMI monitor, an external speaker with 3.5 millimeter audio cable, and internet connection using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We'll start by setting up all the hardware. So we'll first connect the audio jack on the Pi to the line on the dev board. Then we'll take the microphone module and connect this to the dev board where it says mic one. Next, connect the micro USB from the two mic that says J1 USB to a USB port on the Pi. Now we'll connect the ground pin on the dev board, which should be at section P2 pin 15 to the Pi at GPIO pin 14. From there, we will connect the GPIO 1 at section P2 pin 14 from the dev board to the Pi at GPIO pin 13. We'll then take the powered speaker and connect it to the 2 mic on J3. And then we will connect the mouse and the keyboard to the Raspberry Pi which would then be connected to an external HDMI monitor. Finally, we just need to power the Pi with a micro USB cable, which I'll just plug into my computer and we'll use the power supply to power up the two mic. Just flip the switch on the two mic and the dev board and the Pi should all be powered up. Okay, with all the hardware completed, let's move on to the longest part of the setup, the software portion. What we'll need to do first is to install Raspberry and Jesse on a Raspberry Pi. You could either have a micro SD that has been pre-installed with Noobs or download the latest version of Noobs at this URL. This might take a while, so while that's downloading, make sure to format the SD card to either FAT or FAT32 by using an SD formatter program that you could find online. Once the file has been downloaded, extract the files and drag all of them from the extracted Noobs folder to the SD card. With the nudes file in the SD card, we'll insert the micro SD card into the micro SD slot on the Pi. Power up the Pi if you haven't yet, you should see a boot up on the monitor. You'll see a window with a list of operating systems to install, but for us, we'll just install the Raspberry and Jesse. Once that's done, the Pi should be running smoothly on your monitor. The next thing we will need to do is register for an Amazon developer account on developer.amazon.com. I recommend doing this portion on your Pi's desktop since you'll be needing to copy and pasting some long code numbers. Once you got that, you'll need to create an Alexa device and security profile. So on the tabs, go to the Alexa tab and go to the get started on the Alexa voice service. You'll then see a drop down that says register a product where you'll want to click on the device. In this window, you'll just give a simple identifier for your product on the device type ID, which will be needed later and a display name in the developer portal, which will be displayed to users when they register the product with Amazon. Let's simply use test AVS. So let's click on next, which will then take us to the security profile. You have to click on the security profile dropdown and choose create a new profile. Enter a name and description for your security profile and description. I'll use testing voice app. Click next and you'll be generated a client ID and client secret, which you'll be using later. Now you'll click on the web settings tab. Be sure that the security profile you just created is selected on the drop down menu. Then click the edit button. In allowed origins, click add another and then enter this URL. And on allowed return URLs, click add another and enter this URL. Then click next. Here, you'll find the device details, which you can fill out yourself. I'll just put in my info and then we could click on next.
Okay, now the last step for the registration will be to enable the security profile. You'll need to open up a web browser and visit this URL. On the top of the page, select the security profile you created earlier from the drop down menu and click confirm. You'll need to enter a private policy URL beginning with HTTP or HTTPS, but we can just use a fake URL such as this. Click next, then it will display your client ID and your client secret. Well, you'll need to save these values. And this finishes the Amazon registration portion. Now let's go back to the Pi and you'll need to open up a terminal and first type the following and then type this line. Now we'll need to update the install script with the credentials we got from Amazon, which we'll use the product ID, client ID, and client secret. So we'll type the following in the first terminal. And then type this. It'll take you to the screen where you'll need to paste the values for product ID, client ID, and client secret. Type control X and then Y and then press enter to save the changes. Now we'll have to run the automated script which will install all the required project files. So open up a terminal again and then run these commands. You'll be asked some questions so just go through them. Okay, once the installation is complete, you'll have to run these next three commands in three separate terminals. So for terminal one, we'll type this command in to bring up the web service, which will be used to authorize your sample app with AVS. It should just run automatically and the server should now be running on port 3000. Open up a new terminal and you should type the following command to run the sample app, which will communicate with AVS. A window should pop up to register your device where you can just click yes. If at this point it does not pop up, that means that the installation process was successful. You'll be taken to a login Amazon page where you can enter your Amazon credentials. You'll then be taken to the dev authorization page. Click OK to confirm that you'd like the device to access the security profile created earlier. This will take you to a window where it should say device tokens ready. Now return to the Java application and click OK, which now means that the client is ready to accept Alexa requests. On the last terminal, you can decide whether to select the low power or high performance embedded wake word engine. For high performance, type this command on the terminal. Whichever you choose, this should be the last step and you should finally have a working hands-free AVS prototype. This is a starting point for you to start making hands-free prototype for whichever command you wish, or some skills that are already online. It's up to you to see how creative you could get.